Earlier this week, we talked about how EpiPens are a perfect example of the dysfunction of the American healthcare system. Evidently, America agreed. Days after the New York Times published my and other pieces, a whole bunch of stuff happened. Let's review. This is Healthcare Triage News. I can't speak for all news outlets, but colleagues of mine at the New York Times published a piece on EpiPens on Monday night, August 22nd. I wrote another on Tuesday morning. I'm sure others published pieces as well. Then on Wednesday, Hillary Clinton waded into the fray. She called on Mylan Pharmaceuticals to lower the price of the device. Senators Susan Collins and Claire McCaskill sent requests to the company for information on the pricing of EpiPens. They gave Mylan two weeks to answer. Not to be outdone, the American Medical Association urged Mylan to lower the price too. On Thursday, Sarah Jessica Parker, who was paid by Mylan to help raise awareness for EpiPens and allergies, ended that relationship. She wrote that she was, and I'm quoting, disappointed, saddened, and deeply concerned by Mylan's actions. She asked them, and again I'm quoting, to take swift action to lower the cost to be more affordable for whom it is a life-saving necessity. Mylan must have felt the heat. That day they announced that they would offer coupons that would take as much as $300 off the more than $600 for a twin pack. Policy wonks, yours truly included, were not impressed. I was interviewed by All Things Considered that day, if you heard it, and I didn't know they were taping it, which is my fault, not theirs, and I was a bit more, let's say, colorful than I otherwise would have been. Anyone on government insurance can't use the coupons. They'll only help reduce your copay, so those with a high deductible health care plan still have to pay a ton. And so do the insurance companies. Those high costs just get passed on to us as higher premiums, and the uninsured are totally out of luck. No coupons for them at all. Plus, Mylan hopes that the coupon might make people buy more EpiPens, which is great for them. That's the problem. If people don't see the cost themselves, they buy more. It's the moral hazard problem. We did a whole episode on that a long time ago. You should go watch it. The heat didn't lessen. The following Monday, August 29th now, Mylan announced that it would start selling a generic version of their own product. I know, it's just as crazy as it sounds. They're gonna sell an identical product to the name brand EpiPen at about half the price. I mean, who would buy the more expensive one? This defies belief. Unless you think about how crazy our healthcare system is. Doctors will still write scripts for EpiPens because they just won't think about it. Pharmacists might make more if they sell the brand name product, so they might not tell people to swap in the generic. Insurance companies might have made deals with Mylan so that the name brand product is cheaper for them, and many consumers won't know that. And the coupons may actually make out-of-pocket costs less for people when they buy the name brand EpiPen than if they buy the generic. Sure, it'll cost the rest of us more, but people usually do what's best for them, not best for taxpayers. And of course, it's still unclear why the generic needs to cost $300, which is still way more than the device would have cost a decade ago, when it was still making money. And those generics aren't even here yet. And this story isn't going away. It looks like we've reached a tipping point on EpiPens and other drug company behavior to jack up the price and order drugs without much competition. We'll update you as news develops. Healthcare Triage is supported in part by viewers like you through Patreon.com, a service that allows you to support the show through a monthly donation. We'd especially like to thank our research associate, Joe Sevitz, and our Surgeon Admiral, Sam. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Sam. More information can be found at Patreon.com slash Healthcare Triage.